Today up against Sung Ji Hyun, who of course will start as favourite. Well, there you go, confirmation that Liang beat the crowd darling yesterday in the shape of Rachinok Intanon, the world number eight, the former world champion. Good match uh, in the other semi final, Sun Yu. The uh, lady conquested by Sung Ji Hyun. Let's hope it's uh, of a similar quality to the match we just saw in the women's doubles. Officials making their way out onto the court here ahead of the second of the finals. Well, we had uh, two youngsters when they're the ladies defeated. Maybe uh, we can see it in their faces, the disappointment of uh, another final, another loss. And Already going through what could have gone better, maybe. But uh, a 20-year-old and an 18-year-old combining together for the very first time to win. Now we've got a 19-year-old about to step on the stage for her very first final. Feeling very nervous, Liang Xiao. But she's got much to be proud of already this week. A big stage for her. Well, no doubt about it, she uh, starts Sung Ji Hyun as uh, the big favourite here, the number two seed. World ranked number seven, a mere 113 places higher in the world than her opponent. But then again, the Yang Xiao did see off the world number eight yesterday. See how Liang Xiao settles into this match. After the match of her life, never easy then to follow it up. But could she cause another upset here against this lady Sung Ji Hyun, who's well, in a real purple patch, looking to win her second title in 15 days? Xiao may be a bit of an unknown quantity, 120th in the world, but uh, an incredible win yesterday against the world number eight in three games, four points in a row. She took at the end of it to win it 21-17 in an hour and seven minutes. Says her attitude was just to go out and try and win every point. Can she keep that attitude today knowing the title is on the line? Up against a, a Wiley campaign who's looked in good form, is in good form. Number seven in the world. She has been as high as four earlier this year. Been in good form. Two titles this year. And so far, straight games in trying to win a third. Looking to win her ninth BWF title throw in the uh, Asian Badminton Championships as well. And She won that last year, but she's won the German Open. 
another Grand Prix gold level event this year. She was won the Korean Open, of course, a few weeks ago, Super Series level. Just to remind you, Shushia Fang and Ramida uh, Swasop is our people in charge, umpire and service charge, respectively. Found to be nerves on both sides, but you really must expect that uh, for the Yang Xiaowu, this is uh, an even bigger occasion as a coach, singles national coach, Ding Chao. And uh, well, she's just got to try and perform at the level she's performed so far this week. Obviously, if that's not good enough, there's nothing she can do, but uh, obviously. She'll want to make Sung Ji Hoon fight for this. Brilliant win for Sung Ji Hoon in her homeland a few weeks ago, beating Wang Yi Han. She uh, well, just came through barrier after barrier against Ratchanot yesterday. But here's another hurdle. So the women's singles final of the Thailand Open hit. The player established many titles behind her against a teenager competing in a very first final. Opening up her shoulders already there. few early points on the board here. <laughs> what she found against Ratchanok yesterday is that there were a few gifts that came her way. Ratchanok certainly wasn't in uh, good form at all. In fact, if you uh, had seen her in previous rounds, you knew maybe there was uh, an opportunity for a, a giant killing. Ah, there we go. That's given in. Sun Ji Hun questioning it. But uh, first point on the ball for Liang. <laughs> yeah, it was a little short from Liang there. Tough start for her. Easy kill, and uh, well, you don't want to read too much in the opening half a dozen points, do you? But uh, a dominant start from the world number seven. Two, two good winners.
rally this, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 and a lovely backhand winner at the end of it. Soon Ji Hyun already wanting a towel down eight points into the match. In fact, maybe she needs a new racket, actually. But uh, a nice winner. Maybe she had a string broken there in that rally. Indeed, that was the case. Uh, on court training she feels it's made a, a big difference to the way she's been playing recently before the Korean Open apparently she trained with a, a lead vest did Sung Ji Hyun trying to help improve her stamina sounds like hard work to me Right. Wow, that wasn't far off, was it? No, it was just long in the end. And she settled into the match after being dominated in those opening points. Always uh, been in the spotlight, Sung Ji Hyun, even before she was winning titles. Of course, the daughter of one of Korea's most famous badminton couples. Yes. Well, she's got to stick around. Keep in the fight. You never know. She showed yesterday what can what can happen. I just feel like most of her points are hard earned. It's a, a very good lead, isn't it, at the interval for Sun Ji Hyun. 
but uh, I can't really say that the Yang Xiao has uh, been overawed by the occasion. Just outmuscled so far by the better player, Sun Ji Hyun, in command as expected. Early stages still of this women's singles final. Started as the favourite, remains the red hot favourite to win this Sung Ji Hyun, 24 year old Korean. A winner of two Super Series titles, five Grand Prix gold titles, a winner of the Asian Badminton Championship as well. That's all the Yang can do with that. Trying to run into some space and the shuttle coming right at her. Got to give credit, haven't you, to Sung Ji Hyun here. No complacency, I suppose. <laughs> it was a warning sign for her, given to her by uh, Ratchanok Intanon. But uh, she's come out, giving respect to her opponent, and uh, just played some excellent badminton. Four points in a row, seven point lead already in this opening game. Again, it. Like the first point. Well, it was a questioning look from Sung, and it's been overruled by the umpire. It was given in. Hmm. Couldn't quite tell 100% from that replay, but the umpire obviously confident in his judgment. That one definitely out. Of course, unlike in uh, the Super Series, there's no uh, Hawkeye. No referral system. wide of the mark. She's got to go for a shot, I suppose. Got to try and find those winners. It's a fine margin, isn't it, to uh, taking those points or giving them away cheaply, as the case may be. Oh, it's got muddled up there.
There's uh, inevitability about this one, isn't there, really? First final with the women's doubles. You weren't sure which way it was going to go. You get to results like the one you had yesterday when, obviously, the Yang Xiao is playing really well. And she's... She's not really being outclassed here, totally, despite the scoreline. You wouldn't know there was uh, 113 places between them in the rankings, but obviously she benefited yesterday from a former world champion being under par, and there's no sign right now of Sung Ji Hyun being below the level she needs to be. Fabulous rally. She played her part in it as well. See what she was trying to do there. Touch deserted it. some nerves for the Yang Xiao and who, who wouldn't blame her for having them kind of can play a little bit with some freedom certainly at the end of this opening game now no one expecting anything from her here and she's picking up a few points touch from some a bit of the skies on it as well and uh, it's been a, a top level performance Not surprisingly given her confidence must be sky high after what she achieved in her homeland a couple of weeks ago and bear in mind she hasn't lost a set here yet this week and that is a Another fabulous shot from her. Brings up nine game points. Well, it was efficient. It was pretty ruthless. It was uh, a top-level display from Sung Ji Hyun. She's determined to make sure there will be no upset in the women's singles on Sunday at the Thailand Open. She dominated that opening set. Nothing much that Liang Xiaou can do about it. 21.11 to the Korean, who's on course to the title.
pretty straightforward opening set for Sung Ji Hyun. Difficult position for Liang Xiaoyu. I mean, she can't be that disappointed with the way she's played. I mean, there's been nothing wrong with her standard of badminton, just not good enough for the teenager. No let up, is there? And it's uh, no doubt it's she's a young lady who's um won a fair few titles already, but I just feel that she's gone up another level this year. She talked about that hard training. She's also been practicing with the male players as well. And she said that's helped her with her shot speed. And, uh, that one, this one should be put away. Oh, no. by Liang. As soon as I say that, she uh, lifts it out. But well, whatever happens in this final, it's been a, a breakthrough week for the Singaporean. She'll get a lot of world ranking points as well. Started the week at 120th in the world. She the CEO, but uh, uh, something about Sun Ji Hyun just seems totally in control. One loose shot, bang, punished. Step hasn't it? Bronze medal in the world championships for this lady Sung Ji Hyun. She lost to Carolina Marin in those semi. That's great tight net shots there. Well done. Excellent. Look at that. Don't get those back. Six, four. 
pity. Pity wasn't far away. And as I say before, you know, she's got to go for these shots. Got to give it a go. No point coming away from your first final thing. What if I had only, you know, if I'd only tried this or that? That's good to see. I think she's played pretty decently. Just uh, that lady at the other end is pretty darn good. chasing all the time. Stamina must be an issue as well. I mean, she played well over an hour yesterday to uh, create that upset in beating Ratchanok. Inside the line. to hesitate like that and uh, an extremely healthy lead what do you say to her go out there do your best enjoy it I think because the set down 11-5 down the writing is on the wall for the Yang Xiao Sung Ji Hyun very much in charge an opening final didn't we in the women's doubles this one 11, five, a little on the one-sided but uh, some good badminton in it nonetheless I mean, she ran a ragged there. And look at the depth on that, right on the line. She played that point really well, Liang Xiao. And against anyone else this week, that would have been a winner. But uh, not to be against Sung Ji Hyun. Been classy, hasn't it, from her? That's going wide. Well, 
question of when, not if now, and by how many points. Hold up. Point of minor victory. Is it with uh, someone like the Axio? Or there any other tournament which she reached a semi final this year? It was back in January, it was here in Thailand, Thailand International Challenge. You have to think where she'd been given some of the badminton we've seen from her this week, but she is only 19, and as I say, that she can completely miss hits one. She was part of the Singapore team at this year's Sudamin Cup. Last year she was competing in the Youth Olympic Games. So it's uh, been a gradual progress and certainly been a big progress this week. She got to that really well played. And look at that for a winner at the end of it as well. Fabulous. Plenty of encouragement from the supporters who couldn't believe what she was doing against their local favourite yesterday. Nice idea again. Didn't put that off, obviously, but uh, nice idea. Some show of resistance. I mean, you don't feel it's going to be anything other than a straight games win, but uh, every point taken seriously by Liang. She said yesterday that uh, she was just trying to win every point. 
On to the next. have uh, duly arrived for Sung Ji Hyun. Baffling display hasn't it been from Liang Xiao. But uh, Sung Ji Hyun hit on the cusp of another title. He's got that winning feeling again. Sung Ji Hyuk, two weeks after winning on Hope Saw at the Korean Open, comes away with the title here in Thailand. A comprehensive display never looked like being anything other than hers. And Sung Ji Hyuk with a third title of the year is on the up. A word for the loser, Liang Xiao. Been a great week for her. But there was really no sign of another upset here this afternoon in Bangkok. But a week to remember nonetheless. 21-11, 21-14, Sung Ji Hyun all the way to capture the Thailand Open title. presentation for the woman single in the 2015 SCG Thailand Open Championships the confirmation there of the score in the final another straight games win as it has been all week for Sung Ji so the second place trophy, ladies and gentlemen, goes to Singapore, while the winner's trophy for the women's single goes to South Korea. So now if the players from South Korea and Singapore could please stand on the podium as the award presentation will begin shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite His Excellency Don Poramadwinai, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Thailand, Honorary Advisory of the Badminton Association of Thailand, under the royal patronage of His Majesty the King, to present the trophy to the second place and to our winner. ขอเชิญพนักท่านดอนปรมัตถวินัยรัฐมนตรีว่าการกระทรวงการต่างประเทศและที่ปรึกษากิติบศักดิ์สมาคมแบดมินตันแห่งประเทศไทยในพระบร
จะมีพิธีการมอบถ้วยพระราชทานสมเด็จพระเทพพร,รัตนราชสุดาสยามบรมราชกุมารีและของที่ระลึกให้กับนักกีฬาครับ Obviously wants to do it. เป็นถ้วยพระราชทาน Make sure she takes the trophy with her. <laughs> She's getting used to getting these things recently. You've got to concentrate on the winning, haven't you? Not sure she was supposed to take the trophy just yet. It doesn't matter though. So His Excellency Don Boramad Winai, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Thailand, Honorary Advisory of the Badminton Association of Thailand, under the royal patronage of His Majesty the King, will now present the trophy to the second place runner-up. I would now like to invite Kun Ying Patama Lee Sawatragun, President of the Badminton Association of Thailand, under the royal patronage of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Organizing Committee of the SCG Thailand Open 2015, to present the mascot doll to our players. Kapinchen Kun Ying Patama Lee Sawatragun, Nayok Samakom Badminton Hang Pratet Thai, Nay Pat Brom Rachu Patam, Let Patan Gan Jat Gan Hang Kan Nay Krang Ni. เป็นผู้มอบตุ๊กตามัสคอตให้แก่รองชนะเลิศอันดับหนึ่งและผู้ชนะเลิศครับลายดิสเจนเมนไอวูดนาวไลท์ทูอินไวท์ดรวงศักดิ์สวัสดิ์พานิชเอ็กซ์ดีเรกเตอร์ออฟพาวิชชั่นแอดมินิสเทรชันอินเทอร์เรียมินิสทรีทูเพรสเซนต์ดีเช็คอะวอร์ดทูดีเซ็กันเพลสและทูอาวินเนอร์ลำดับสุดท้ายครับกับเรียนเชิญดรวงศักดิ์สวัสดิ์พานิชอดีตอธิบดีกรมการปกครองกระทรวงมหาดไทยเป็นผู้มอบเช็ครางวัลให้แก่รองชนะเลิศอันดับหนึ่งและผู้ชนะเลิศกับเรียนเชิญครับต้องขอแสดงความยินดีให้กับทั้งสองท่านเลยนะครับแล้วก็ขอเรียนเชิญทุกท่านนะครับถ่ายรูปร่วมกันเป็นที่ระลึกด้วยนะครับ Now we'll have a photo session if all the guests of honor and our players could take a picture together. And now I have to thank you all of the guests of honor, His Excellency Don Boramat Winai, Dr. Wong Sak Sawat Panit, and also Kun Ying Patama Lee Sawat Trukun will remain on the stage. และดรวงศักดิ์สวัสดิ์พานิชที่ให้เกียรติมาเป็นผู้มอบรางวัลแก่รองชนะเลิศอันดับหนึ่งและผู้ชนะเลิศในประเภทหญิงเดี่ยวครับ Well congratulations to Sung Ji Hyun Plenty for her to smile about including the way things worked out at the start of that ceremony but a terrific performance from her another win to go with her title from a couple of weeks ago and congratulations as well to Liang Xiao, who uh, had a week to remember herself. And now we have a surprise for Kun Ying Patama, Lee Sawatragun, President of the Badminton Association of Thailand under the royal patronage of His Majesty the King. Ladies and gentlemen, the Badminton World Federation, BWF, want to give a souvenir to Kun Ying Patama Lee Sawatragun for organizing a successful event such as the SCG Thailand Open 2015. A big round of applause, please. ลำดับต่อไปนะครับผู้แทนสหพันธ์แบดมินตันโลกนะครับมอบของที่ระลึกให้กับคุณหญิงปัทมารีสวัตกูลนะครับท่านนายกสมาคมแบดมินตันแห่งประเทศไทยในฐานะประธานจัดการแข่งขันแบดมินตันระดับโลก SCG Thailand Open 2015ซึ่งประสบความสำเร็จจัดได้อย่างดีเยี่ยมเลยนะครับลำดับต่อไปนะครับขอเรียนเชิญคุณหญิงปัทมารีสวัตกูลนายกสมาคมแบดมินตันแห่งประเทศไทยและประธานจัดการแข่งขัน
ให้เกียรติมอบถ้วยที่ระลึกให้แก่ผู้สนับสนุนการแข่งขันแบดมินตันรายการ SCG Thailand Open ครั้งนี้ด้วยครับลำดับแรกบริษัท True Vision จำกัดครับ So thank you to our sponsors Firstly True Vision โรงพยาบาลกรุงเทพครับ Thank you to Bangkok Hospital บริษัทไทยดริงจำกัดในนามผลิตภัณฑ์เครื่องดื่ม100 plus ครับ100 plus energy drink ลำดับสุดท้ายครับโรงแรมอโนมาแกรนด์โฮเทลครับ Thank you last but not least อโนมาแกรนด์โฮเทล So thank you to all our sponsors as the SCG Thailand Open 2015 would not be possible if it wasn't for our great sponsors and once again thank you to คุณหญิงปัทมาลีสวัตกุล President of the Badminton Association of Thailand under the royal patronage of His Majesty the King and also the organizing committee of the SCG Thailand Open 2015. <laughs> So the women's doubles, women's singles uh, completed it in the SCG Thailand Open. And it's uh, men's doubles next, a clash between Indonesia and Malaysia. In fact, Malaysian participation in all three of the finals coming up. And it's... Uh, Interesting one, this one. Ali Yusuf uh, alongside uh, Aria Pankaria Nira up against Kukin Kiat and Tan Boon Hyung. Number five seeds from Indonesia, and of course, Kuantan aren't seeded, but uh, obviously, very well known faces in Bamberton coming through in three games yesterday. Great games, victory for Panka, Rianari and Yusuf uh, against their compatriots for now in Sukumojo. Well, they got some support, that's for sure. 